so hello guys uh, kapil decide i welcome you to another episode of uh, lmc stack so guys if you remember in our last example we have uh, bind an element uh, with the html page itself so this was my first episode uh, that was my first episode of lwc stack in which we bind the javascript variable with the html content and let me show you the output of it once okay so let me just open the default org okay so this is my default org and let me just open the page all right so guys as you can see in this page uh, this is a basic html lwc component in which we are just binding a value from the javascript part let me show you the javascript part so this was the javascript part in which uh, we were just binding the value manually okay uh, so guys in today's example we will be binding the value but we will also change the value based on a value in a input text box field okay so guys for that we will create another component here so let me just create a new component so to create a new component you just have to press command shift and p and in uh, windows it will be control shift and p okay so let's type lightning web component here yeah, here it is create lightning web component okay now we have to enter the file name so let's say bind input text okay we will keep this in the same directory so this is the default component guys and this is the default layout of that component let me show you the html so this is the default html we, we are getting while creating a component okay so guys uh, let me just make it full screen first okay now it is better so we will take the html from our old component first okay so this was the html from the old one in which we are just having a value here after hello okay now guys uh, we will change the value based on a input text field like whatever you will type in the input text will be here in this my value field okay so let me just copy the my value <coughs> attribute uh, my value variable from the javascript also of our last class so this is the javascript and this is the my value okay here it is So guys in javascript we are having my value and we are binding my value here in this html uh, lightning web component okay so guys now underneath that i will create input text and in that input text i will bind this my value variable so whatever we, we will type in that input text that will be automatically bind after this hello variable so uh, let's try it once okay so we will have lightning input here okay now we will have some attributes let's say label okay we will have value So in value guys we will be binding this my value here okay so let me type my value here all right then we will have a on change function here so the whenever the value will be changed it will change the value um, beside the value automatically so let's create on change and let's name it handle change okay so this is our input text guys let's save it 
and now we have to create the on change function in this uh, javascript file guys so let me just open the javascript here so guys uh, this was the default layout uh, we get whenever we will create a new component okay so now in this we will create a new javascript method which will change the value automatically of this my value component so as you can see the default value in this my value is salesforce bold so underneath that we will create a we will create an event handle change event okay so in this handle change we'll just do this dot we will change the value with the value of the targeted event okay let's save it let's save this too we are having a problem here let me just check it out all right guys so the problem is that like this is a variable so we have to bind it here directly without the double quotes okay so this was the problem here all right so the lightning component is ready now we will just deploy it to the source org so to deploy the lightning component you can just simply click on your component so my component name is uh, binding input text okay right click on it and deploy source to org you can see status on the bottom right corner so uh, it says deploy source to org it's successfully completed okay now let's go back to the source org so this was a source org and this is the default page we are having right right here oh i think we missed to change the page heading so the last page heading was how to bind html elements in lwc so let me change the uh, let's change the heading here and in LWC and an updated dynamic link and change the value and change the dynamic value. Okay, let's make it and make it dynamic. Okay, now guys, we have to deploy it. One more time okay so let's right click and deploy source to org okay it is deployed again now we are on the lwc stack page let's click on edit page and let's search for the component Bind input text, okay. Let me refresh it once. Maybe it's cached issue. Bind input text is deployed, JS is deployed, and I think we let me just check the metadata. All right, so guys, we have not added the target on the metadata because to display it on the like app page, record page, home page, you have to add the target in the metadata file. So let me just copy it from the previous file. So I'm copying the lightning bundle part here, okay. So this was my metadata from the first example and this is from the new one okay so let me just update it so it is updated now now we will deploy it again and this time guys the component will be available on this record page let me refresh it once
okay let's search for it all right so as you can see guys the lightning web component is available to bind here so let me just paste it underneath the first one okay now let's save it okay it is saved let's go back and check the output okay so this is the second component this is the variable uh, to bind the dynamic value so let's change the value here okay so let's say uh, if you type hello world so as you can see guys uh, when i'm typing here the value is getting changed automatically because we have bind the variable of that value to this input text so that's why uh, the value is getting changed automatically and it's working on on change so let me just make it salesforce bold again so guys that's how you can change the value dynamically of a component and guys as you know uh, lwc uh, works on pure html so whatever uh, knowledge you have about html let's say if you know any kind of css or if you know any specific thing that can be done in html you can you can do it here as well let's say uh, let me show you an example let's say uh, as you can see the there's uh, no padding between the component so in html we can use the padding right so we will try to use same here okay so this is the div so let me put it in another div all right so this is my input text now we will write some style here so let's give the padding of 10 pixels from all the corners okay and yep yeah, okay let's let's uh, deploy it one more time we will do deploy source to org again so it will be deploying the component again into the org okay so the component has been deployed successfully let's refresh the page and see the output maybe it's a cached issue here that's why we are not able to oh it's my bad guys the component is still getting deployed and i thought you know it is already deployed so that's why i try to refresh the page so let's wait until it's get it get deployed okay so right now it's taking longer than usual let me just hit cancel and try it one more time all right so this time it is deployed quickly it, it happened with me a lot like whenever i'm deploying some component sometime it's you know it's got stuck and it will run continuously okay it says SFD, SFDX deploy source to or fail to run. I think this was the previous one uh, and I think it was running in the background. Let me just refresh the page so it, so it will just clear our doubt. Okay guys, so the new component has been deployed here. As you can see, you are having padding of 10 pixels from all the corners. So guys, you can simply use basic HTML here. Okay, so guys, uh, next episode is coming soon uh, till then stay tuned and thanks for watching and guys one more thing sorry i forgot to mention here so guys i will be having the complete code and i will be having this uh, session episode 2 for this lwc stack on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com so you can just directly go on to my blog and check out the complete html javascript and the xml code over it okay so i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching